Hello and welcome to another ASP video. I'm your host Chris and we're going to be taking a look at United States Marine Corps uniforms and clothing items during World War II. Um, this collection belongs to Joe so he's going to tell you interesting history and facts of each clothing item and uniform. So Joe, what do we have here today? Okay, well all the previous uniforms were for the were warm weather you know, uniforms in, in the, you know, the climate which they fought in. Mm -hmm. By later in the war, especially Iwo Jima, Okinawa, it got cool at night. During Okinawa especially, they fought during the monsoon season and getting wet. They were cold. So they actually were issued some, war, some foul weather gear. Mm -hmm. And this is what's called a tanker jacket. Um, not a specific Marine Corps piece. They were, they were gotten through Army supply. Mm -hmm. But what's cool about this one is it's actually been marked to a Marine. So we'll show it. It's basically just wool lined, zippered up the front, two front pockets, wool collar, you know, wool, we'll, we'll, uh, I mean, here, and uh, wrists, mm -hmm. and that's it. There's nothing to it, not a lot of adjustments. It was a simple, simple jacket. Like, well, like I said, the coolest part about it is it has invasion markings on it. Very cool. So, although the 4th Marine Division had also fought in the Marianas Islands, and also, I believe, the Marshals, they wouldn't have needed warm weather clothing like this. But by the time they got to Iwo Jima, they definitely would have. And you see a lot of photographs and film footage of guys wearing jackets and coats, especially at night. And we see here the stencil for the 4th Marine Division and a 142. I'm not 100% certain of the unit marking. Remember, it was supposed to be code, and they have it all exactly been filtered out yet, but whenever you see the 1, you know that's divisional headquarters. We have found that the 4 was for Reconnaissance Company, and we're not sure what the 2 stands for. Maybe our audience will help us down the line with that. Yeah. And the 1 stands for Private, and it would go up the line, 2 Corporal, 3 Sergeant, all up to 9 for General. So we see a Private who serves as a Reconnaissance Company of the 4th Marine Division on Iwo Jima. And that's, uh, that's pretty cool, in my opinion. This is one of my favorite parts of my collection. You can see it's been worn, it's been there, you see a lot of repairs on it, some stains, a couple small rips. But other than that, it's in really good shape. Mm -hmm. All right, and on your wrist, I'll take this off. We have the winter service shirt. Now, in one of the earlier videos, we showed the summer service shirt. It's, the, it's identical in every way except, obviously, the main one. It's not cotton, it's wool. It still has the pointed pocket flaps, plastic buttons, the cotton strip to sew the buttons to, uh, button cuffs, and a Marine Corps contract tag, which Chris will show in detail later. And again, made of wool. It's actually quite comfortable even for wool. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, I didn't see photographs of Marines serving aboard ship, especially in the Iwo Jima and Okinawa campaign. No, it still doesn't hold in. The temperature, so at night it would get cool. Yeah. And they, they uh, in Iceland, early in the war, when they, uh, a certain one regiment served in Iceland, you can see them in their wool shirts. And that's it. Okay. All right. All right. Let's go off on to the next uniform. Okay. 